What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the Pokemon Generation 8 game that's going to be coming out on the Nintendo Switch in 2019. Now the Pokemon game that's coming out next year is going to be amazing because we have a whole entire brand new generation that's coming. We've got new characters, a new region, new Pokemon. There's a lot of stuff coming, but I think one important question to ask is who is going to be the person who's behind all of the stuff that's going to be happening for this game? And if we're talking about it in terms of roles, I really want to know who is going to be the director of the 8th generation of Pokemon, which is going to be coming out on the Switch next year. Now the reason that the director role is so important is that the director has pretty much control over how the entire game is going to shape up to be like, they pretty much make the important decisions for like what to include in the game, what to take out from the game, and they pretty much come up with like the blueprint or the foundation for the game and then have the whole entire team help to develop the game. And so in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the history of all the Pokemon directors that we've had, and then towards the end of the video, I want to talk to you guys about which director I personally really want for the 8th generation, as well as which director I think probably has the highest chance of being the actual director for the 8th generation. Now before we get started, I do want to let you guys know about the special holiday giveaway that I'm having. And so I am going to be giving away one Nintendo Switch game to a lucky person. And if you want to have a chance to win that, then definitely just be sure to click the link in the description. I'll also make it the pinned comment of this video, so definitely just be sure to click that. And you have a chance to win any Nintendo Switch game that you want. And so it could be a recent game like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee, or even a game that's already out like Splatoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The winner can choose any Nintendo Switch game that they want, so definitely be sure to click the link if you're interested. I'll also have it as the pinned comment. The giveaway is going to end really soon, like from the time that I upload this video, it's probably only going to be like a couple hours or so left, so definitely be sure to enter real fast if you want to have a chance to win. Now I am going to be going in release date order for when each of these Pokemon games came out, and I also want to apologize if I say anyone's name incorrectly, like all of these names are in Japanese so it is very hard for me to pronounce them, so I do want to apologize about that in advance. But the very first Pokemon game that we have is of course Pokemon Red and Blue, or Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, and that came out in 1996, and the director behind all of those games was Satoshi Tijihari. Now Satoshi Tijihari is actually known for being like the creator of Pokemon, he's really the one who kind of started off the entire Pokemon franchise, so he was really the person who was behind Pokemon Red and Blue, and came up with the whole blueprint for the Kanto region and all the stuff that happens in those games. Then after Pokemon Red and Blue, we have Pokemon Yellow, which came out in 1998, and that game was once again directed by Satoshi Tijihari. Now after Pokemon Red and Blue became an insane success on the Game Boy, they of course released a sequel which is known as Pokemon Gold and Silver, and that came out in 1999, and the director was once again Mr. Satoshi Tijihari. Now with Pokemon Gold and Silver, if you guys don't know, these games were actually supposed to be the very last Pokemon games, like the whole entire Pokemon craze was supposed to be dying out after Gold and Silver, and so that's why these games are made to be like direct sequels of Pokemon Red and Blue, and that's why it makes a lot of sense as to how you can go back to Kanto, how a lot of the characters are similar as well with like Blue being a gym leader and Lance moving on to being a champion, that's why they make so much sense because they were direct sequels of Pokemon Red and Blue. Now after Pokemon Gold and Silver, the next Pokemon game that came out was Pokemon Crystal in 2000, and that was the very first game that was directed by Mr. Jinichi Masuda. Now because at this time Mr. Masuda was still a young developer, he started off easy just like all the other young developers at Game Freak, on a game that's pretty easy to make as it's not that hard because they already have the foundation of Johto already done with Pokemon Gold and Silver, but they added some new things with Pokemon Crystal. And so after Pokemon Gold and Silver's insane success, it was clear to Game Freak that they just had to continue making more and more Pokemon games because people seemed to love them. And so after Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, the next Pokemon games that we got were Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire in 2002, and those were the first new games like a whole entire new generation directed by Mr. Masuda. And so after Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, the next Pokemon games that came out were actually remakes of the original Pokemon games, and those were Fire Red and Leaf Green, which launched in 2004 and were also directed by Mr. G. Nichi Masuda. After Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, the next Pokemon game that came out was Pokemon Emerald which came out in 2004, and that was the very first game directed by Mr. Shigeki Morimoto. After Pokemon Emerald, it was the start of the fourth generation in 2006 with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and both of those games were directed by Mr. Jinichi Masuda. Following up to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Pokemon Platinum was the brand new Pokemon game that launched in 2008, and that was directed by Takashi Kawachimaru. After Pokemon Platinum, the next Pokemon games that we got were remakes of Pokemon Gold and Silver, known as Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which launched in 2009, and those games were once again directed by Mr. Shigeki Morimoto. After Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver was the start of the fifth generation with Pokemon Black and White, and those brand new games came out in 2010 and were directed by Mr. Jinichi Masuda. 
After Pokemon Black and White, we got sequels which were Pokemon Black and White 2, which launched in 2012, and those games were directed for the first time by Mr. Takawa Uno. And after Pokemon Black and White 2 came out, it was the start of the 6th generation on the brand new system, the Nintendo 3DS, with Pokemon X and Y in 2013, and those brand new games were directed by Mr. Jinichi Masuda. Then in 2014, we finally got remakes to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, with Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, and those games were directed for the first time by Mr. Shigeru Omori. Then after Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it was the start of the 7th generation on the Nintendo 3DS, and so with Pokemon Sun and Moon launching in 2016, those games were directed for the first time by Mr. Shigeru Omori. Following up to Pokemon Sun and Moon, the very next Pokemon games that came out were Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which launched last year, and those games were directed by Mr. Kazumasa Iwa-Ao. And finally, here we are in 2018 with the brand new Pokemon games Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, once again directed by Mr. Jinichi Masuda. And so there you guys have it, those are all of the Pokemon directors that we've had for every single mainline Pokemon game that has come out. And so with all of these Pokemon directors, it really kind of makes you wonder which of these Pokemon games did you enjoy a lot, and who were the directors that were responsible for it. And I'm also sure that a lot of you guys noticed the few patterns as well, whereas like whenever it's a new generation, most of the time the director was Mr. Jinichi Masuda, as you guys know he directed pretty much Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Diamond and Pearl, Black and White, X and Y, pretty much all the start of a new generations, like the recent Pokemon games, pretty much Mr. Jinichi Masuda was behind all of those. But then when it comes to secondary games like Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Black and White 2, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and even remakes like Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you can see that all those directors are different people. And so if you guys didn't see my recent video about Mr. Masuda, definitely be sure to click the little eye up in the corner right now if you want to go and check out that video. I'll also have it in the outro of this video as well. I pretty much go into detail about what Mr. Masuda said in terms of being a developer at Game Freak. And really the big thing that comes out of that video is Mr. Masuda pretty much did confirm that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are probably the last times he is ever going to direct Pokemon games. And so with Mr. Masuda no longer being a director, it makes you wonder who in fact is going to be the director of the 8th generation of Pokemon, which is going to be coming out next year. Now if you guys want my personal opinion as to who I wish was the director for the 8th generation Pokemon games next year, I really wish that the director was actually Mr. Satoshi Tejihari. Now Mr. Satoshi Tejihari still works at Game Freak and he's still with the Pokemon company, but he pretty much just doesn't really help to direct any Pokemon games anymore, and really the only games like you saw in the video, the only Pokemon games that he's helped to direct were Pokemon Red and Blue, Pokemon Yellow, and then Pokemon Gold and Silver. Now I don't know about you guys, but for me, Pokemon Red and Blue are my favorite Pokemon games of all time, they're actually my favorite video games of all time as well, and then my second favorite Pokemon games are Pokemon Gold and Silver, and both of these games were directed by Mr. Satoshi Tejihari. And so if the only two games that were directed by Mr. Satoshi Tejihari managed to be at the top of my list, I can only imagine what he would do if he had the power to create the 8th generation. Like I really don't think he's going to be the director, but if he was the director of the 8th generation, I could only imagine because both of the games that he created, Pokemon Red and Blue and then Pokemon Gold and Silver, are my number 1 and number 2 in terms of Pokemon games, like if I ranked them personally. So I just can't imagine what he would do if he had control over the 8th generation. Now besides my personal wish as to who I want as the director for the 8th generation, if you guys want my realistic prediction as to who I think will probably end up being the person who's in control of generation 8, well the answer to that question is Mr. Shigeru Omori. Now the reason that I think that Mr. Shigeru Omori is going to be the director for the 8th generation is that Mr. Masuda and Mr. Omori are pretty much like partners and best friends, like they always work on their games together, and with Mr. Masuda no longer being the person who starts off new generations anymore, as you guys know Mr. Masuda basically started off generation 3 with Ruby and Sapphire, generation 4 with Diamond and Pearl, generation 5 with Black and White, and generation 6 with Pokemon X and Y, but you guys know that recently he stopped being the director for like these beginning of new generation games, and really with Pokemon Sun and Moon, he made Made Mr. Omori be able to take that role of being director. Now a lot of people didn't like Pokemon Sun and Moon for many reasons, some people didn't like how it wasn't a traditional Pokemon game with having gyms and it had trials instead, some people just didn't like the idea of a tropical region with Alola, some people hated the cutscenes how there were so many of them in the game and how the game felt really slow, some people just didn't like the design of all the Pokemon, so there's a lot of reasons why people didn't like Pokemon Sun and Moon, and so even if you like it a lot or if you hate Pokemon Sun and Moon, the thing that you can't deny is the fact that these games did incredibly well in terms of sales on the Nintendo 3DS. In fact, Pokemon Sun and Moon are the best selling Pokemon games on the Nintendo 3DS with over 16.18 million copies sold. And even in terms of reviews, Pokemon Sun and Moon did really well and got very high scores. 
And so with all of that, I just feel like that at Game Freak, if the very first Pokemon game that was a brand new generation that was directed by Mr. Shigeru Omori for the first time managed to become the best selling Pokemon game on the entire Nintendo 3DS, as well as getting very high scores, I feel like a lot of people at Game Freak are just going to be like, well, Mr. Omori, you're doing a great job. I mean, this game sold so well. You already gotten so many sales out of this game. And then the reviews are really good as well. Keep doing what you're doing. You're definitely going to be the great director to have for the next generation. So that's just my way of thinking about it. I just feel like that with the way that all the stuff turned out with Pokemon Sun and Moon, I feel like he would probably make the most sense for Pokemon's 8th generation. And so there you go guys, those are all the Pokemon directors that we've had, as well as the person who I really want as the director for the 8th generation, and the person who I think will probably end up being the director for the 8th generation as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button, and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of all of this, who is your favorite Pokemon director of all time, who do you want to direct the 8th generation, and who do you think will probably end up being the director for the 8th generation as well, definitely be sure to let me know all of your thoughts down below. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Pokemon content in the future, so please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at Actual Arrow so you can be featured in videos, and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of nice people there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. And remember to enter my giveaway as well. I am giving away one Nintendo Switch game to a lucky person, so remember to click the link in the description or the pinned comment if you want to have a chance to win that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.